Arthritis of the knee. Osteoarthritis of the knee is the most common cause of arthritis of the knee. The patient will complain of pain, swelling, stiffness, and decreased range of motion of the knee. In arthritis, the cartilage of the knee gets worn off. And the meniscus, which absorbs the shock, degenerates and tears. And with time, there will be more and more degeneration and wear and tear. The joint space becomes narrower and narrower. And when the cushion of the cartilage is completely lost, the bone will rub against bone, and that will cause severe symptoms to the patient with severe pain inability to walk, a lot of swelling, and the knee will give away, the knee will be unstable. The x-ray will show the arthritis. Here is a normal knee showing the normal joint space, and here is the knee with arthritis that shows severe arthritis of the knee, and bone rub against bone. When you ask the patient to stand or walk, the alignment of the lower extremity is lost. And the patient may have valgus or varus. Varus means the leg is bowing in and valgus means the leg is bowing out. Here you can see it compared to a normal leg. The varus the bowing in of the leg occurs more with medial osteoarthritis, which is common, and the patient will compensate for the arthritis and the pain in the knee by limping. The gait is called antalgic gait. The patient is trying to reduce the weight on the knee. The stance phase on the affected knee will be shortened because the patient can't take it anymore. He got to get his foot off the ground quickly because it's painful. Arthritis can be mild, moderate, or severe. To understand the arthritis, you need to know the anatomy of the knee. Here is the femur, the tibia, the patella, which is the kneecap. Here is the cartilage of the knee, and here is the meniscus. There is some synovial fluid that lubricates the knee joint. As you can see here, at the end of the femur and the tibia, there is hyaline articular cartilage, which is smooth, that allows smooth movement of the joint. There is no holes, there is no fissures, there is no cracks. So what is arthritis? Arthritis can be mild. The patient will have some discomfort. The x-rays can appear normal. The fabric of the articular cartilage break down. The process of wear and tear, overweight, and enzymes will affect the cartilage and the cartilage will break down, but it is mild or minimal. So you can control that by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication, by weight loss, and by therapy. About moderate arthritis, you will find narrowing of the joint space in x-ray due to degeneration of the cartilage. There will be cysts in the subchondral space located underneath the cartilage. There might be some osteophytes or bony spurs. The joint will no longer be smooth. The joint surface will be roughened with cracks and fissures. And the patient pain will be worse with more swelling. This is the time where the physician have a lot of options, but none of them is optimal. You may try non anti-inflammatory medication. You may try weight loss and exercises, steroid injection, visco supplementation, or hyaluronic acid injection. Recently, long acting steroid injection is used. Other doctors may try platelets and stem cells. None of the options are proven to be successful.
The only protocol that proved to be successful is weight loss, exercises, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. The last thing is severe osteoarthritis. The condition of the knee is bad. The joint space is severely narrowed with total destruction of the cartilage. The knee is swollen and painful with more osteophytes and the bone rub against the bone. No cartilage left. There is no cushion. There is nothing to absorb the shock of the weight. So the condition becomes very painful. The patient knee is like a car that is running on its rim. Because the patient is walking in its own bone, there will be decreased mobility, decreased activity, and will have inferior quality of life. So surgery is the best option for the patient, and surgery is usually a total knee replacement. Like a house with a leaked roof that completely destroyed the roof, you want to change the roof of the house, and that is a total knee replacement. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.